Well, we started Overwatch um, as an acknowledgement that there needs to be a human layer of our platform. If you want to take a look at your cyber actors out there, whether it's nation state sponsored, it's cyber criminals, or it's hacktivists, or anything in between, they generally employ some sort of stack, if you will, where you have people on top using processes to operate their tools and tradecraft. So on our side, we wanted to mirror what the attackers were doing and provide a defensive platform kind of in line with uh, that mirrors the attack platform. So we have the Amazing Falcon platform that, that I think everybody has learned about up till now. Um, that's where we're going to have a lot of our tradecraft, uh, our behavioral, our middle layer. That's where we employ a lot of our processes for finding bad activity. Next Gen AV, I consider to be that the, the lowest level of tools and artifacts and things like that. It's our prime engine for detecting the lowest level of uh, the attack tools. At the very top, you have the humans. Um, it's Overwatch. It's people who are sensitized to human activity from the other end, coming from the attacker. We like to call it hands-on keyboard activity, things that aren't predictable, things that... Uh, that aren't infallible, they're not automated, so they, they, they emit a completely different type of signature, a completely different type of fingerprint. So ultimately, when we, when we created Overwatch, we had something we didn't want to do and something we did want to do. What we didn't want to do was create a 24 by 7 tactical, traditional SOC, Security Operations Center. And the reason why is because we didn't want to build a team that was focused just tactically resolving individual alerts as they came across. Rather, we wanted to build a more strategically focused team. So a team that could see the forest from the trees, a team that could recognize a change in the patterns of detections, a team that could actually be proactive in nature. So with Falcon Host and continuous monitoring, or continuous telemetry coming from our, our sensor, what we have is the ability to actually ask virtually any question that we want to ask of a, a customer's environment. Uh, we call that hunting. Sometimes a question might look like we, we've identified an intrusion and we want to figure out where else that intrusion is spread so we can ask the data at that point in time. Um, another question I want to ask is, I have an idea for a pattern. I have this, this detection methodology that I think could find target activity or this, this latest uh, ransomware campaign, and I want to test it against security data. So we use our Falcon host data to test against this, uh, this hypothesis for an IOA. Uh, another method that we might actually do hunting is simply to um, perform advanced analytics, looking for outliers. The industry might call it process stacking or registry hive stacking, things like that, where essentially you're, you're looking at, you're doing a frequency analysis of certain points of activity on endpoints to determine what the outliers are and then examining those outliers to figure out if they're malicious. So we perform all three forms of hunting and all the while paying attention to what's happening on the platform, what, what automatic detections are coming from the platform, uh, where it's doing its job. And we combine all those things into kind of a fused picture of what's happening in your environment. Because of that, we've been able to find targeted attacks into several of our customers literally every day of the year. Uh, we're able to quickly identify it. From the point that we, we identify our first trigger to look into some sort of activity to determine if there's a malicious actor on the other end to the time we send the initial notification to customers with the with the certain amount of context about what's happening is generally within 30 to 60 minutes. And if you consider some of the stats you're reading out there from the Verizon reports and, and whatnot, I mean, you see dwell times of advanced actors being months, sometimes years. And we're catching them and telling you about them within 30 to 60 minutes on average. Um, so again, the, for me, that's more proof of the pudding. It, it's an affirmation that the way we're going about the problem um, is, is the right way. So we use automation where we need to. We use humans where we absolutely need humans. And where we need humans is to make judgment calls.